One of the largest women's magazines here in America and across the whole world is Cosmopolitan. Cosmo is published in 35 different languages, and it's distributed in nearly 100 countries around the whole globe. And if you've spent any time standing at a checkout aisle in a supermarket within the last 30 years, well, you've probably seen one of their magazines, which is primarily aimed at women aged 18 to 34. However, something very odd happened about six weeks ago. The people who happen to follow Cosmo magazine on social media, they were treated to this post right here, explaining the details of how a quote unquote satanic abortion ceremony actually works. Let me read to you a quick tidbit on what this social media post said. And as you're listening to me read this, keep in mind that this social media post is not from some fringe part of the internet. This was a post from the most mainstream women's magazine in this country. Here's what it said, quote, so how does a satanic abortion ceremony even work? Patients of all faiths are welcome at Samuel Alito's mom's satanic abortion clinic in New Mexico. Along with medical counsel, TST, which stands for the Satanic Temple, offers free ceremonial support to everyone. Abortion ceremonies are totally optional and customizable. Here's a simple one that the Satanic Temple recommends. The post then goes on to have several pages explaining how to conduct one of these satanic abortion rituals, with each one of these pages having at the top of it an upside down cross. Here's what it says, quote, first, find a quiet space. Bring a mirror if you can. Just before taking the medication, gaze at your reflection and on your personhood. Home in on your intent, your responsibility to you. Take a few deep, relaxing breaths. The instructions then go on to say how the individual should read some tenets out loud about how their body is subject to their will alone. Then they take the abortion pills before reciting another set of tenets, plunging their belief in science. Then after the woman expels the dead fetus, the instructions tell her to return to staring at her own reflection in the mirror and to recite the final affirmation, which I don't wanna repeat, but you can read it up on your screen if you so wish. This social media post then urges people to go to an actual full length article over on Cosmos' website which details the experience of an anonymous 37-year-old woman who conducted one of these satanic rituals herself. Now again, if this post and this article were found just on some fringe part of the internet, this would not even be worth discussing. I would not read aloud to you any of this. But this is not from some fringe part of the internet. As I mentioned earlier, this was found in the largest women's magazine here in America. And so let's expose what's really going on here, starting with a bit of background. What's come to be known as a satanic abortion ritual is actually the product of an organization called the Satanic Temple. This is a non-theistic religion that was officially registered with the US government about 10 years ago and is now recognized as a tax-exempt religious organization with the IRS. And just as a fun fact, they have their headquarters based out of Salem, Massachusetts, of all places. And this quote-unquote religion, despite its name being Satanism, claims to not truly believe that Satan exists. Instead, according to Ms. Shalise Blythe, who is the Satanic Temple spokesperson for reproductive rights, she claims that the temple treats Satan as something akin to a mascot who represents rebellion, personal sovereignty, as well as resistance. Now, if this view of theirs reminds you of that very famous quote from Charles Baudelaire, that Satan's greatest trick was persuading the world that he doesn't exist, well, perhaps the members of this temple got tricked the hardest of all. Regardless, in advancing one of their main tenets, which is complete personal liberation, the Satanic Temple created something called the Satanic Abortion Ritual. This was the ritual that was just read about in the pages of Cosmo magazine, and the reason for its creation appears to be so that the Satanic Temple can give women a religious loophole to conduct abortions. Because if a woman happens to live in a state here in America where abortions are either partially or completely outlawed, well, she can now claim affiliation with the temple and make the argument that this abortion of hers is actually part of her religion. Now, the Satanic Temple organization set up their first online abortion clinic over in the state of New Mexico. They chose New Mexico for several different reasons. Firstly, they already had a fairly large contingent of members in the state, about 3,300 members. And second of all, New Mexico was the easiest state to set up this clinic because it's considered an abortion rights stronghold. New Mexico has no laws dictating time limits on abortions. There's no age restrictions. There's no waiting periods. And perhaps most important of all, it's legal to prescribe abortion pills to someone remotely and then have those pills mailed to their homes as long as they live within the borders of the state. They named this online quote unquote clinic, Sam Alito's Mom's Satanic Abortion Clinic as a reference to Supreme Court Justice Sam Alito, who is both a devout Catholic as well as the author of the Supreme Court opinion, which ultimately overturned Roe versus Wade. 
And so this online clinic allows anyone living within the borders of New Mexico who's over the age of 17 to conduct a virtual chat and then to order their abortion pills directly to their doorstep via the internet. Now, for legal purposes, the only real requirement is that the quote-unquote client must admit to having an interest in performing a satanic abortion in order to be considered a practicing member of the religion and therefore to receive this legal loophole and the benefits that it entails. But here's the thing. As I mentioned earlier, New Mexico already has some of the most lenient abortion laws in the whole country. And so this satanic abortion clinic is not really legally necessary for the people living in that state. Instead, this New Mexico location is more like a proof of concept a concept that the Satanic Temple is working to expand to the rest of the country. In fact, along that line, the Satanic Temple has now filed lawsuits against the states of Indiana, Idaho, Missouri, as well as Texas, arguing that those states' abortion laws violate the rights of Satanic Temple members. Essentially, the Satanic Temple is using several of the recent Supreme Court rulings in favor of religious freedom, such as the Christian baker's right to not bake a cake for a gay couple. They're using these precedents to make the argument that these laws, quote, restricting members' access to abortion infringes on their religious right to participate in our satanic abortion ritual. However, in a practical sense, these lawsuits have been getting dismissed in their respective courtrooms one after another due to a lack of standing. They've been dismissed in Indiana, in Texas, as well as in Missouri, and the case over in Idaho is currently in the process of being considered for dismissal. But the reason that these cases are getting dismissed is not because of the actual merits of the arguments, but instead, the courts have been throwing out these cases one after the other after finding that the satanic temple lacks standing. The courts don't deal in hypotheticals, you see. Without any actual plaintiffs, they threw out these cases on technical grounds. Meaning, essentially in practical terms, that the only thing stopping these cases from actually moving forward is that the satanic temple needs to find a card-carrying member who was on birth control and still got pregnant. If they have that, they can overcome the issue of standing and really bring the case forward. And wouldn't you know it, they are on the lookout, evidenced by this notice right here, calling for pregnant supporters over in Indiana to come forward. And here's the thing about these lawsuits. Just like what we saw with the legal effort to get President Trump kicked off the ballot, even if in 20 different states these lawsuits get dismissed, well, it only takes one case to get appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court, which then issues a blanket ruling for all of America. And even though it almost seems inconceivable, well, do not dismiss these satanic legal challenges as impossible. Because according to the letter of the law, the protections that are afforded to Americans by the Religious Freedom Restoration Act of 1993, well, it prohibits government agencies, government departments, and or government officials at both the federal and the state levels from substantially burdening a person's exercise of religion. And like it or not, the U.S. government has already recognized the satanic temple as an official religion. The satanic temple then subsequently claimed that abortions are part of their religion, and now they're trying to use the existing laws that are on the books to circumvent state-level bans on abortion. 